G'day, Alistair here from LearnDelphi.tv. In this video, I want to talk about the new ternary operator in Delphi 13. Now, basically, if I ask Copilot what uh, the ternary operator is, it is basically al allows you to do an inline if. So it depends on the language you're using, but if you're in C++, Java, something like that, we can say if a is greater than b, return a, otherwise return b. And Python's a little differently. If a is bigger than b, return a, else return b. And Delphi is somewhat in between, actually. So let's look at how we do it old school. So basically, if the if checkbox 1 is checked, our message is yes, otherwise it's no, and we return the message. Okay, very simple. Now, if you wanted to do that in a single line, you could use this if then function, which is in stray utils. Um, so system stray utils if then. And so if checkbox one is checked, return yes, otherwise return no. And that's a reasonably concise way of, of doing things, but it only allows you to do it with strings. I think there's one for um, integers as well. There might be a whole bunch in the math unit. I can't remember. I, I tend to use it mostly just for strings. And that, that can be a nice, concise way of doing simple statements. But now in Delphi 13, we can say this. If checkbox 1 is checked, the result is yes, otherwise no. So and we might as well even run that one just to prove that it works. So currently no, and yes. So, and of course I could take this and throw that in there just like that if we wanted to, and that would of course give us the same, same result. So, Okay, that's, that's fine. Sometimes we want to use a function. So uh, we've just got this get yes function and get yes and get no. Uh, basically just return yes and no. And they add, add a line of text to this memo. So this is the old way of, would be the old way of doing it. And I can run And it's no or yes. And using the ternary operator, we can do it this way. And of course, I can take this whole, just copy it, a whole line and put it in there. And so this operates exactly the same with function no. And yes, and it's worth noting, although it's probably rather obvious that, that, that it would do this, uh, it's not, these don't get evaluated in advance. So they're evaluated um, based on this checkbox. And you can tell that because only the uh, get yes and get no results are put in the memo. So you don't have to worry about, so it's um, much like a regular Boolean evaluation in an if statement. Now, let's look at this. Now, this is a pretty standard uh, if statement. So I've got some other checkboxes over here. And so we can say, you know, if checkbox box one is checked and two is checked, we return one and two and then show that. Now, if I look at it's nested, we have to scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. Um, I would not recommend doing this uh, in a single line. <laughs> this is this is uh, horrible to maintain. It's not too bad in this instance because uh, the the results kind of indicate what has been selected. But yeah, it's this kind of hideous. Now, it is possible to reformat this, of course. So I can say if 
else. In fact, we might want to put this on a new line and indent that slightly. Uh, else like this. And then we may also want to go if then something like this. Okay, now I'm just going to compile that and look at the blue dots. We have one here and we have one here. So there's, there's two reasons not to use inline ifs that I, I can think of. One is that this is hideous and really hard, be fairly difficult to maintain. If you lay it out like this, you can kind of work out what's going on in one line. Uh, <laughs> I definitely wouldn't recommend it. It's just, it's just, it's just asking for pain. But the other issue is, I would like to be able to set breakpoints on each of these locations. Let's run it. And we see that we only get the the if statement and the else, the, the main else. So nothing, nothing else is um, you're able to uh, break on it, which is rather annoying. Whereas in our if statement, oh, nested, um, let's build that. We can see I can set breakpoints all over the place. So that's pretty much everywhere where I'd want to be able to set a breakpoint, even on the initial if. Whereas in the ternary operator, you're very limited as to where you can break. So it's limited in its ability to for, for debugging, to know what's going on, for stepping through the code. Now, I would avoid, I would, I would keep the, the utinary statements. I don't really know how useful they're going to be yet. It's kind of like the inline ifs. Uh, it's going to take like a year or something like that before you can work out, you know, before you come back to code that you've written a year ago and work out what it's doing. I quite like inline ifs now. I use them quite regularly. Uh, it makes it much easier. I can just take that line or these two lines of code, for instance, and copy and paste them. There's no, you know, if, if they were just further down in the code, uh, there's a, a lot of code around it. It makes it a lot easier to manipulate code. So I quite like it, but you still need to be careful about using them and where you place them, that kind of thing. And it's going to be the exact, exact same thing for turning the, this ternary operator. I could also, so these, these have to be, obviously, I can't say else zero. That's, uh, it needs to be a string. So that's kind of all I wanted to say about the ternary operator. I think it'll it'll be it's slightly improved improves on this. So I think I will be in in some projects I will be that I'm doing using Delphi thirteen. I will probably try it out. It's I don't often need to use the if then function. So. I mean, I don't, this is not listed around, throughout my code. Var is far more common, so I don't think it's going to be a huge, a huge win, but it will improve brevity of code. Possibly, if you're using it in instances like that, you know, in cases like this, it's it's not going to make the code harder to read, but will make it shorter, which can often make it easy to understand. So, but only time will tell. So. I think that's all I probably need to say at this stage. So do check out my books on learndelphi.tv, Code Faster in Delphi and Code Better in Delphi. I'm Alistair Christie, and I will see you in a future video.